What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off our last time we fought the Dutch in a great battle and their second army has come out to meet me. Um, I've tried to retreat but it did not work so we will fight this battle ourselves. It's going to be a bit more defensive because my cavalry has been um, quite depleted and theirs is still quite strong. Um, so I'm going to be deploying in a much more conservative manner. So let's fight. I'm going to effectively end up building... Well, it still might be long, but I think I'm going to end up um, not doing the not doing the the flanking I did with my cavalry. I want to hold them back, and I want them to respond to their cavalry charges when they arrive. And my focus is going to be destroying their core of infantry, so I'm going to want still something like this, which my guns can focus on, so let's pick five reasonably solid units of line. Not that far. Stretch them out like that. Uh, let's mix it up a bit. We'll mix it up. Let's get two line infantry units and one Highlander unit. Let's get two infantry units and a King's German Legion unit. Actually, let's stretch you out a bit more. Stretch you out a bit less. Stretch you out just a little bit more. You are my right flank, light infantry. So they've got a unit of cover on the left, unit of cover on the right, unit of cover on the center. So let's come on light infantry here. So let's put together. Let's put okay, let's make my strong cavalry force be on the right. Strong cavalry force more left. Whichever in the center. Here come Norwegian Fusiliers. Fascinating. So there's their Union of Second Horse, Light Hussars. Unless I. Unless I group my cavalry together and try to destroy this Union of Cavalry on the right. It looks like they're all coming. They're all going towards this edge of the city. So this flank here needs to change. To be honest, it might be a bit of a reshuffle. So let's do that. Oh no, let's bring you back. They've got a unit of Jaegers. Let's put a unit inside that house and let's bring these guys around here. Redeploy my guns. Redeploy my line. Bring my that infantry just out a bit more. Let's bring these guys out and probably run them. So they have you of Jaegers out here that are now invisible.
Hmm. Secure this house. Mountie, are oh, the mountain egg, as I see. Cavalry unit, infantry up on the right. We have taken the building, sir. On Limba. So they're going to be firing on my left flank, which is curved up. There we go. This is how you garrison a building, not the way Napoleon does it. Or the old Empire does it, sorry, where they all just stand in the middle. So I've started the, the fight off the first shots. There are lots of cavalry which they're holding back, which is what I want. So in one unit of infantry right, or into the city. But you know what? Because they're not threatening with their cavalry, I probably don't wanna don't want them to do the same. A solid view on what it is my guys are shooting at. Because these guys, these guys' guns aren't firing. And to be honest, I might want to do something like this. It will minimise my firepower, but it also mean that these guys won't be firing into the backs of my men. I think I'm a regular guns of engage now. What I don't want is friendly fire, because these are a lot of muskets to be firing to the back of my own men. These guys are probably a bit tired. They're tired, but they're encouraged that Lord Wellesley is alive. So you... You guys to... To fire? Actually, just keep firing on to... Okay, so we do have a unit going through the city. My single unit of cavalry here push up a little bit. If they leave their if they leave their cal their artillery exposed for a minute, then one unit of cavalry will be more than enough to actually do some damage. Okay, so where's my where's my artillery over here? I want them to fire in this direction primarily to provide some support to my. Stop doing this for a start. Fit of the map, it sure is. Yeah, just provide a bit of support until the these units of line infantry very kindly pass into your sights. Not yet at canister range, so engage these guys in point blank range. That's point blank range, sorry. Anything, I may well do this. Just 
so they don't get too stretched out. Let's do this to see if they follow you. Okay, it's got a one unit of uh, fusiliers coming through the city, but that's what these guys are for. They've got cover, cover advantage. There you go, engage, canister shot. I should get them to fire the close unit, they fire the unit behind, or that, this unit. They did turn and fire. Didn't get any kills. It's pretty good. I good. I span that flank around. I hear charges. While it would be nice to chase them down, um, I would. I would still take. Um, Loss, uh, fewer casualties. That would be my preference. So let's get you to canister on them. So my Highland foot could be in for a bit of a pasting because this is the first battle where it's actually more. It's actually more about uh, musket versus musket. Like the advantage of. Okay, so here come the. They've got in close, but they're being picked apart. Constant harrying of my light infantry. Where's my cavalry? Let's bring you back. May as well have them chew up some units. Send this weaker one. So they've not left the cavalry completely undefended. They've got some hussars still back there. Uh, let's move my cavalry back here. Yeah, my priority is army preservation. And it looks like they're doing a pretty good job. There goes this unit of missiles is gonna get some nice kills on this lone Danish cavalry unit. They're engaging me in point blank range, but it's not going to work. Not against the British troops, by guard. Oh, they might actually flee, which would be frustrating. Still, it happens when this unit of line infantry breaks. Throw my cavalry in. Let's throw my cavalry into that unit, see if I can make the route. Get ready to hit this unit of line once they route. Go for him. Go round shot, target this unit of line which doesn't want to play ball. You go round shot and get ready to engage this unit of cavalry.
So as these guys chase this unit around, uh, yeah, they, uh, may, they may as well just go fight this unit of Hussars because it's going to happen eventually. Maybe some of my artillery shots might be able to win the day. Oh, they're already wavering actually. Let's deploy the Duke. It's fine, it's just me. Other unit halt before you kill my general. I actually hit them. They're our way out. Them way. They're way out of the mess. Leave this area, that area of the map alone. Spear these go straight. This unit of artillery. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Let's see if they didn't commit. Let's bring this proper unit of cavalry in. Let's get my duke to keep chasing down them. Let's get all of my artillery to hit this single unit of line infantry. Oh, they do have a still have a unit of line over here. So let's. Oh no, they're gone. Continue. So you go chase down that unit. You go chase down that unit. Where's the Duke? Chase down. Oh no, you're chasing down someone already. So I'm tired. They're tired. I don't know. Chase them down. I think my guys are faster. Knock out this artillery team. Okay, so you chase down him, the single foot artilleryman. And then let's halt all artillery. Need a bit of hand holding. Chop, 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 chop. You go chase down that gunner. See, the only other unit's over there somewhere. But he's gonna, they're gonna route because they're right next to the border. So just come back, I suppose. My general will take care of these guys. 
one would hope. Okay, now try to try chase down that cavalry unit, that infantry unit. Sorry, these guys are after this lone gunner who's desperately trying to make a run for it with his hat, but it didn't work. So you also go after this infantry unit as they're running the wrong way. You also go after that infantry unit. Then let's triple speed it, because... Every so often you have to have a little reset to... Make sure you guys don't do something stupid. Come on, he's right there. That's how the game. Do you see how they just run and stop? Where are they going? Oh, it's because the three of them have gone over here. So this unit will escape, um, albeit severely depleted. The other unit's been destroyed, so the general's gone chop-chop. Then suddenly realised, oh no! Decisive victory for Lord Arthur Wellesley of Copenhagen. Destroyed in the field of battle. Oh, look at that. 544, lost for 3,303 kills. Yep, so they might have left the road open for Copenhagen, for Arthur Wellesley. Depending on the state of his troops will dictate whether or not Sir John Moore comes along to provide support. So I'm going to bring Sir John Moore over anyway, because I could always redeploy him. I can, like I, said, I can always redeploy him at the end of the uh, the battles. What I want to do is to have him deploy my troops there as a hedge for this army coming back. Yeah, pretty sure they're not going to stop here. At the very least, I could probably pull out my weakest units, which aren't that weak, so they take... Oh no, they can't move, so don't do that yet. Um, but yes, I'm feeling pretty good. Construction reports, all of my magistrates and stuff have worked. Population still going down from tax burden, so that might be an indication that I do government research technology building. Prestige is a measure of your reputation amongst rival nations. Oh, wait, wait, I'm looking for um, policies. If you want to so let's do on the business of war, that. Taxation and construction management can be automated by... To help ease the tax burden to promote growth. So let's take William Cornwallis out of here and attack this, attack Le Havre. I don't know if they're going to recruit anything, but I can't. Better to be safe than sorry. I do notice that London is currently, uh, these docks are currently unguarded, so expect them to be ooh, British fusiliers. I do expect that French Navy to blockade my ports, which is fair enough. Or this Danish one to do it as a final, you know, middle finger. But good, I've got Sir John Moore blocking off the retreat, of blocking off any reinforcement from the army I've just destroyed. I've got Arthur Wellesley laying siege to Copenhagen itself. So they've got lots of militia, armed citizenry, but they have no artillery. So I'm pretty happy about that. Don't do public schools instead. We're getting onto more of a war footing, so maybe do. 
Army Corps organization. What are your logistics? Let's do poverty control laws. It means I can build factories and plus one repression. That plus one repression will be good to offset uh, conscription. But let's hit enter. Are they going to blockade my port, which doesn't, which actually has a navy in it? <laughs> Unless they've got another ship. No, oh, they don't. Well, I thought the AI was going to be super clever then, but I, I guess not. But no, this, this this recording session has gone enormously well compared to my, my initial recording session. That, uh, that did not go well at all. Well, at least on the land front. But I think I'm starting to get it. Um, I don't know why. I, was, I, think I, was, I think I was just a bit jittery and I kind of considered the... Oh, the Russian's going to keep my port secure. Yes! Come on, the Russian Navy. Oh, what? Oh, no, wait. They won, but they just got depleted. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. The question will become, if I want to secure Copenhagen, well, John Moore will take and secure Norway, and then I want to sail him around. Ah, there you go. <laughs> One final little middle finger from the uh, from the AI, because <laughs> they know what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, so, jo so John Moore's going to go, when Copenhagen is secure... Okay, so let's kick them out. Can't fix it, but next turn minus four thousand. Okay, so I think I'm gonna need to do government policies. How does that? How does that make it worse? Okay, so what I'm going to want to do is bring... Hmm. This is an uncomfortable position. So let's do this. Oh, they withdrew. Of course they did. The scurvy dogs. Pretty sure for the end turn it says, yeah. Bankruptcy. Unless you're crippling a treasury. Bankruptcy is inevitable. Are you sure you wish to end turn? Unfortunately, the only thing I can do is really disband. Well, I think I might go to cap go capture Copenhagen and hopefully the uh, the wealth boat. Well, that won't offset it. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it will. But I think I might be in for a bit of a bit of this. Minus three thousand. Two thousand. Okay, some of my ships might have to get the chop. So where's my? So where's my fleet? Fleets, research, technology, objectives. Da, 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 da. I don't want building browser. I want. Okay, that's this is what I want. Fleets. Pippin, Horton, Horatio, Nelson, George, Elphinstone. What are you doing down there? Oh, I guess I sent them all. Okay, well it looks like Corvette Triomphant might be... Oh, I cannot dis... Oh, I can scupper. 2,600... Not, not the Indiaman. Scupper you. Let's bring George Elphiston back to the UK. So, which makes the most amount of money? It's cotton now, so let's get you onto the cotton region. Let's get you onto Savannah. Hope that, what that does. 2,300, yeah. I think some of Nelson's fleet might have to be... Uh, unless I do. Diplomacy. Open. Tech. Can be offered. Money can be offered to or demanded of another nation as reparations for war, tribute to avoid yes. 
I'm going to have to sell technology. Uh, I've got nothing to offer them. Hmm. Nope. Minor nations, Naples. Do you want technology here? Have classical economics. But I would very much like money. Technology, offering classical economics, national debt. Darn it. Yeah, looks like some of uh, Nelson's fleet's going to get scuppered, so let's take this third rate. It's like fourth rate, third rate, and let's take Dragon. 1300, I'm getting close. Your first rate rose. So I might end up having to disband or do this at least. Let's mix up, shrink up some of these units, trying to reinforce as many, you know, many complete units as I can. So I end up having as full an army as possible. Then probably disband you. It's frustrating I have to do this, but you know, can't be helped. Two hundred and twenty, so if I do that, disband. 188. To be honest, I may as well just go ahead and disband them all, move up to John Moore. Shouldn't have done that because I've not got a full army. So what I'm definitely going to do is attack uh, Copenhagen because they have no artillery. I have lots of artillery and I have reasonable infantry, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to assault Copenhagen because I kind of cocked up by uh, disbanding some of those units. I thought, yeah, I thought Wellesley was full, but he was not. Um, so yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that part. I managed to do myself out of dead a bit. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll see you around in the next part where I finally assault Copenhagen. <laughs>